Hi, this is Samusam. I would like to welcome to the continuity session of the previous classes as I said the daily right arm. So today we are going to discuss about the uh, different type of joints uh, as I said the daily in the previous classes. Is, um, so there is a different type of joints. Uh, one is linear joint, another one is orthogonal joint, on rotational joint, twisting joint and revolving joints. The name itself specifies how the importance of the joints uh, road axis movements will make a vital role in the industrial sectors. How it has been used in an effective manner to make the purpose of the applications. Uh, so, first one we are going to discuss about the linear joints. Uh, the name itself mentions what is linear joints. Uh, everybody knows uh, linear is the movement of X and Y axis, right? Uh, so, that is what I am saying. The joint motion, there is an input link, there is an output link where the motion has been takes place in a linear axis. Uh, so, X uh, positive and x negative or the movement left from right or right to left this is how the linear movements are so the example is the jet file as i have shown in the um, video uh, presentation how the axis has been moving from one place to another we can able to clearly understand how the process has been taking place from the as in the linear movements are. so normally this type is said to be a joint so the relative motion movement between the input link and the output Link is always a translation and sliding motion now with an axis of two links which is parallel to each other. That is how it has been developed, and uh, the axis has been revolving around one point to another point, uh, which makes a uh, linear axis. Especially the, uh, when we can able to draw a particular picture, this axis has uh, the pencil has been fixed between one position, we can able to move on x or y or z directions. One one particularly in front or back motions, not in axial motions. So it has been developed. So when we go for the uh, next type of joint is uh, orthogonal. Uh, everybody knows what is you mean by orthogonal. Is there is any question? Uh, you can understand what do you mean by orthogonal. Think about where the second and just as uh, think it and before going to the session. So from the picture itself, seems there is a joint motion. The output link is uh, obtained in the lower order and the input link has been kept in the upper. So the movement of transaction has been taken. So when you see that. Uh, so one moment it is uh, when one translation movement oh, another one is an uh, another two is a linear movement so, as i said the earlier so the axis has been movement within one direction so, so one up and down movement on left to right combination one trans developed so this type of joint is said to be no type joint uh, and uh, the relation between the input link and the output link is a translation sliding motion, but the output link is always a perpendicular to the input link, which makes the O joint to move from one point to another point within translation moments and with linear movement and as well as in the up and down slide motion. So the second one is and uh, when I say that uh, it is an axis which can be rotated into a uh, rotational movements, uh, as I said that um, so it is uh, this type of joint is always makes to revolving from uh, one mechanism to another mechanism that is rotational joint uh, from the picture it seems that uh, it is a uh, like yet yeah, translational movement especially which is used in the tracks of uh, uh, heavy duty trucks um, so the one rotation movement the output link and makes means the tall movements which is easier to movement of from this set to be a movement um, uh, provides a rotation uh, relative motion with an axis of rotation perpendicular to the axis of input and the output axis. Uh, the next one is a uh, twisting movement and the name itself is it is like twisting like touches. Uh, so the twisting touches. The picture seems uh, the G file seems how it has been uh, twisted with it's like twisting your arms uh, or twisting your arms or something else uh, how the torque has been transferred from one point to another point this has been developed and it has been exercised in the twisting movement so, so this type of joint is said to be a t type joint and um, normally it provides a rotary motion but the axis of rotation is parallel to the axis of the two links which is attached to a robot arm and uh, as I said, this is one of the important factors uh, while in considering for transferring of um, uh, power, uh, especially in a crankshaft mechanism or something uh, where the torque plays a major role. So, 
so the final one we are going to use as revolving joint uh, so in the name itself revolving so the revolving is twisting of the particles all uh, right so the everybody knows from seeing this picture the input link and output link is given into a structure where the rotation joint has been like is like uh, windmill structure or normally we are using in a tabular fan where the straight input has been given and the rotation basis has been obtained which makes the torque to move from one point to another the gif file shows how the robot has been twisted to one place to another place where the, based on the application how it has been working and how it has been taken into a consideration so this joint is not represented in a l because the revolving rotation joint is represented in l but this is a v type joint because it is a rotation uh, revolving around right now so it has able to twist something it is a combination of both rotation and twisting joint so the axis of the input link is parallel to the axis of rotation of the particular joint and the axis of the output link is perpendicular to the axis of the rotation which has been developed and it has been move around from one place to another place on so uh, that is i have given the represent the video links which makes how the impact has been take place and how it has been developed so these are the reference i have taken for the different type of joints has been developed and up to the next video we have discussed uh, about the uh, robotic arm stretches uh, up to that thank you bye bye so we will discuss in the next video about the robot arm mechanism and thanks for watching this video bye bye